Hey, thanks for coming to the channel. Uh, my name is Mike Otterbein. I am discussing my OBD2 software today. And I want to talk about a problem that I resolved. It in, it's a UI problem that involves the Xamarin shell, uh, which basically is a wrapper for your application. And um, what it is, is a situation, it's a situation where you have tabs uh, the, the Xamarin shell um, it gives you this nice wrapper that basically gives you tabs and you can just get from pages to pages uh, using that. Now one of the problems is, is what you want to do is you want to disable the tabs. Sometimes you get busy in one tab and let me just show you something real fundamental about this. Over on the right side here is the is the tabs that we're looking at right here's the three tabs and then here's the three tabs over here on this page right and just to give you an example I'll just put a one at the end of our title so that we know for sure that this is the same one but I'm also going to do this I'm going to say enable or yeah, is enabled right is enabled and I'm just gonna set it to false now Anybody using WPF or anything, and me included, you, uh, would say, okay, I mean, you expect this to be disabled, but what's going to happen? Let me say, save that, and let me run. I'm already running. Where's my little, oh, uh, geez, okay, let me stop. I don't see my little circle thing. Okay, I'm trying to fit everything on the screen. Where's my water? Let me get a little sip here. There we go. Hopefully it won't take a year and a day. We don't have any errors. Okay, a couple of warnings. Nothing too severe here. And I just what I want to show you is basically that even though that we set is enabled false, and we'll see that about one. Okay. See how it says about one? But it's enabled. I can get there. It didn't do a damn thing, is my point, to set the enabled or disabled. So, without going any deeper, so I'm coming over here on the right side, and I'm just getting rid of this, because this is pointless. This doesn't even do anything. So, let me save that. It won't, whatever. It doesn't mean anything. So, all I, so, I have concluded that if you simply look at how this tab bar works and the shells obviously has its own logic underneath it's using enable disable to move so for me to come in and try to override this functionality I mean it's probably it's probably I mean nothing's impossible right um, but I don't think it's something I want to spend a lot of energy on doing or at least I have any more energy because I have tried uh, different things and you might think well maybe you try to bind it up to something or maybe you have the wrong model or maybe it's a relative binding none of that stuff has worked for me um, I cannot basically okay so I we haven't really seen the problem so let me uh, switch over to this other app this is actually where the problem is demonstrable demonstrable why do we do that? Why can't we say demonstrable? We have to go from, can you demonstrate it? And then we have to say, that's demonstrable. And then some little kid is like, why is this guy talking about monsters? All right, anyway. At least that's how I see it. That's how I see it. Uh, like when you're a little kid, right? And presidents would talk about, oh, we need people working. As a little kid, you're like, wow, man, that's messed up. People working? Working sucks. All right, anyway, anyway, get back to work. All right, so uh, when I hit get status, the problem happens is I want all of these to be disabled, but they're not, right? So I can click somewhere and the shell will faithfully give me that. The shell is not really, the shell is an upper level deal. And, and yes, I can create a structure of events and um, uh, ways of, of, of getting up to the shell and disabling, but still none of these, like you, sh like I just, you just seen on this right side, there's something going on under the hood that, that is at least going to be a task to try to master. So this is the problem. User can start something, 
right? I've disabled the button so that you can't start it more than once, but then, then you go somewhere else. And to, to compensate for this, what I've done in the background is when you leave that page, I created right behind all, each one of these is a view model. Each one of these view models is actually uh, supports an interface. And then the uh, code behind accesses the view model via that interface, which has a method that says, you know, close your connection. Right. So when I leave, when I start this and I leave, there's an event that happens and it will through the view model, through a contract, say close. And so I come back here and right. But it's not right. Let's see how it says connecting. It's not connecting. It's frozen in time. That's the problem. I don't want the user to see this thing frozen and I don't want this message is no good for the user I don't want to go through the maintenance of having to come in and change the message because he came back or she came back I don't want to right the the hot the this stuff is giving me a pro I, I like the shell but I, I the users can just go where they want and regardless of threads or tasks or whatever so this is an issue so the first thing is like okay I, so I want to disable this stuff, but I can't seem to. Do that. So this video is about how I resolve that. So there it is. There, there's the problem, and the solution is is basically those pages that you just, whoops 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 like this these pages that you just saw, I have put into. Hello. Yeah, there we go. I have set up where the pages when you get into it. Rather than having the tab here at all, I hide it all together. And I hide all of the shell stuff off of this page. So there's nothing on this page except the XAML that I that is just like custom for the page. This button is like the back button. Now, over on the right, if I go to this page, the XAML for this page, not the here's the I have the view model. By the way, here is each one of these buttons. See the buttons on the left? These are the commands on the right. Now these are actual I commands. Um, uh, go to definition, right? These are all I commands, just gets set up uh, down the page here in this class, close. And then up here in the constructor of the view model for this home page, I have assigned these commands to these asynchronous calls to the shell. Now what happens is, is back to the shell. If we go back to the shell, there's only three routes set up here about setup and home. Okay? But if you and your view model go for something like these weren't there, you're gonna get an error. So what you have to do is in the app shell, in the app shell code behind where Oh, right, which is where I am. You have to put this in the app shell constructor. Just add this for whatever routes are not going to be explicitly on the app shell. Whatever routes are not up here, and you want to asynchronous, if you want to asynchronously call a route, it has to have been created. You can create it here where it's visible, right? These three are what's highlighted on the right, or these three now I didn't create live data live data is actually a duplicate of so there's really only three commands and these are the three commands that are created um, so there's three here created and on the XAML on the front there's three others so there's six altogether routes right each one of these is assigned a route right here's the register route this is the route snapshot uh, now that those and all these all those are doing is pointing to a page just like I mean they could have put put up here I could put this route down over here if I wanted to that's all I did um, these are just pages okay now let's look at uh, the snapshot page which is this vehicle status page I just got rid of all of the stuff all of the shell stuff just by those two commands right here at the very top of the page right before any of the stuff happens now you can bind this I had a pr I think I had an issue binding with a converter but I overcame it by putting it in an external styles anyway but 
so for example if I set these to true now remember we're looking at the page on the right true and let me set this to true yeah see what's happening it's this true oops right and now we have that this is awful it's awful it's great it's wonderful what's the matter with me this I didn't have enough control or maybe I'll come back to this to try to style this a little nicer so it's a little more in line with the app in the meantime I just hide that because these two things these two arrows do the exact same thing I can I can click that and I'll go back go in the vehicle status or I can click this it's acting weird because it's in debug mode remember I go back in the vehicle status uh, and I can go to set, so so now if I go get status see now this is still here I don't want this right because I if I hit setup I can go to setup that's crazy that's nuts what how, how did you you were what so I don't want them to be able to them listen to me I don't want I don't want us <laughs> I don't want me to be able to to do that right how's that that's a little better right them that's how software that's how doctors and nurses talk to false so let's get rid of that thing at the bottom did I spell false wrong false get rid of the thing at the top boom now I have a page that is really just the controls I put in none of the shell stuff is here at all but of course I can call remember this button right here is going to call where is that setup is going to call uh, 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 I'm wrong that button actually calls a command uh, where is it where is it this is the button right here this button that's highlighted is this button up here in the corner and this button calls a command navigate home command very good naming. Thank you, Mike. All right, uh, navigate home command. Go into view model. Uh, let's see where that is. Ah, let's just find it. Find navigate home command. Whoa, how come I don't see that? I don't see that. Maybe it's in the base view model. Is that possible? Do I? Did I do that? I don't why can anybody tell me why I can't find this navigate home command I am right, searching the whole I'm searching the whole thing what am I doing codes view snapshot view All right well oh cuz I'm so stupid I'm looking for like a regular method I yeah yeah oh that's all it is right okay I yeah yeah I hope if you're following me uh, so, so this button right here is just a bound command, right, to uh, this navigate home command, which does nothing but calls the shell go home, which is that first button. This call to shell go home is, is, was defined over here. Whoops, was defined right here in the, in the shell. So if I go back, we're at the home page. And this is really these are like de these are like detail pages of the home page if you want like to really think about it because the one wrinkle that I really haven't taken care of yet and maybe there's some re re way to fix it there's always a way right is that it's really just back if I go into the status I can hit this I can disable this but the user can still hit back the user can still get out of here so I have, wait, let's see what's going on. What am I so busy? I don't know what's going on, right? So until I disable this back here somehow, you know, uh, 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 the general, I'll still have the issue. But at least the user will have the visual cues. I have more room on the screen. And one of the big deals here is when I come back here, it's, it's neat. You know, it, it, it's a lot neater. Do I have the other, uh, uh, yeah, the other, see, see this one here? It's a little busier, right? You're right away, you have functionality on the page. I got ads, right? It's the, but you have this functionality. This is not too bad, not too many menu items. I think we're at the limit, though, there. 
Um, but, you know, it's not too bad. But really, this, I think, even if the buttons are better or something, maybe shiny buttons or something, or wh whatever, some small improvements, some, some minor UI improvements, I think this three, I like the three, I like the simplicity, right? And then you can go into where you're going. And then the other thing that I like about it is that you get in here and it's a full page. You get the bottom. Your bottom's not sucked up by, by that tab. And then, of course, the original problem that the user can click out of here. Whoops. Oh, yeah, I click. I should disable that too, right? So there it is. Unable to access Bluetooth device. Okay, I guess I'm set up for... I thought I was set up for Wi-Fi. Oh, no, I'm set up for Bluetooth. Oh, there's my settings, by the way. Oh, I have to hit edit. This, this is so weird. I had to... I just... These are labels. I'm going to hit edit. These are the actual uh, edit controls. Oh, entry, right, I think is the type. Um, and the reason I did this, I would have left this just there, is that I got an... Not an error, but a warning when I when I put it on Google Play that said that there are some kind of code readers that you should use labels. I don't know. You should have labels there instead of just the controls because it may read some other part other than something. I don't and then I'm like, well, give me something to drink because I don't know what they're talking about. But I kind of did, did what they asked for. And, and I didn't do the 99 other things they suggested. Anyway, so... I hope that answered the question and kind of digressing here and there um, about how I resolved the question of hiding and dealing with this um, this shell in a way. And there's, uh, you know, they have a, I think it's an Italian expression, it's a bend with the wind like the grass. And that is uh, in the spirit of don't fight with this thing, man. Don't try to force it to enable, disable, whatever. You can hide it. You can, you know, I, I like my solution because when I, first of all, it, it solves, you know, you know when you're on the right track, when, when you take one sort of course of action and like a number of problems resolve, which I think I sort of talked about. So, I don't know. That's uh, that's it. That's uh, That's how I dealt with it. And I'm not dealing with it anymore beyond this until like tomorrow when I come up with something that I missed. Anyway, so thank you very much for coming by. Um, I hope you enjoyed this little discussion. And um, if you were in the situation where you're dealing with this, you know, you have some task and you're, this shell is just sitting there, uh, may maybe this will give you, you don't have to, obviously, you don't have to do anything that I'm doing, but this maybe give you an idea. You don't necessarily have to follow anybody's rules, right? All right, well, uh, back to work for me. And, uh, all right, so everybody have a great day and thanks for watching.